Hey guys, so I figured I'll show you the project I've been working on. It is a drum machine and it's based on the Arduino Uno. Currently it is just MIDI controller, it's just a MIDI controller that sends MIDI signals to Ableton, which I used to produce. And uh, Ableton synthesizes the sound or plays a wave file or something like that. The controller just sends the, tape, the control signal telling it which drum sound to play. In the future, I will have the synthesis inside the drum machine as well. It will be based on a Teensy 3.2. Currently, it is very shaky and there are cables running everywhere and it's not like a product you would buy. But in the near future, I will have it way more stable and I'll have a custom-made box for it and I will manufacture the PCBs in China and it will become a way better product. And, but the, the main functionalities are already here and uh, let's take a look at it working. Um, the drum machine has 16 steps. I can activate or deactivate each one of them for each instrument. I have the kick selected right now. Take a look. Heavy. Now, let me make a head step by changing the instrument from kick to head. I have an open head. And an impact that is clap-ish. This is a standard techno kick. Okay, so now you see that I have the 16 steps and eight instruments. For each instrument, I can as well change the velocity that I send to Ableton. This is relative to the kick. Besides the velocity potentiometers, I also have all of these rows that have um, MIDI, general MIDI effects. I can map them in Ableton. This one is mapped to a low pass filter, sorry, a high pass filter. And this one is mapped to a delay. That is great for transitions. Heavy, isn't it? Okay. So, besides this section, I have the control section here. The control section here has a shift, a copy, a repeat, a few patterns, and a start button. Let me show you the repeat, for example. The repeat, when pressed, repeats the selected instrument every single step. Let me get the clap. That is cool. And even I can lock the repeat by letting it go before. And now I can control the velocity. Now I can just let it go. The shift is used when I have a sequence and I want to achieve polyphony with it. So let me get a kick and I will have a, a head. Currently, my head goes all the way through. I want it to maybe here. And it's the same, it's a head. Now we it gets out of phase. I can get something a little bit more crazy and and it becomes perceptible that it is indeed a polyrhythm. Um, this is great for creating real complex and evolving rhythms and great for techno principally.
Well, the next thing I want to show you is the pattern section. Well, let's suppose I have this kick here. Okay, but maybe I want it different. So I have up to four patterns that I can use. On the first one, I have nothing right now. Let me just put a four on the floor. And when I'm ready, I can play start so that I change from zero to one. And two, maybe. say a hat pattern on pattern zero that I really like and I want it on pattern one which I like the most the kick so I play pattern zero now I come into pattern one and press copy and it will copy the selected instrument to the selected pattern now I can play pattern one and it will sound just like that I can resist putting on open hats. That is it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want one, what you think, what could be better. Thanks.